This poem is titled The Great Chain of Being and uh, it appeared in the Kenyan Review and in an anthology that came out in 2018 from the University of Georgia called Eco-Fishing in America. Um, and the title refers to this very ancient idea. Plato and Aristotle first conceived of it and then the medieval philosophers uh, perfected it. The idea was that everything in creation could be lined up in order of importance. So of course God is at the top, then the angels, then human beings, and at the bottom, you know, then trees and plants and animals beneath, and at the very bottom was dirt. And it's an idea that, you know, there's a kind of beauty to it, but of course a great danger in the way it inherently uh, seems to imply that nature is less important than the human realm. Um, so it's called the Great Chain of Being, and there's a reference in it to Puto, and that's a word that refers to these little fat cherubs that appeared in medieval and Renaissance paintings. The Great Chain of Being. The rain cowing ferns, the feral twittering of stars, what extremity roosts in the small, hard hut of a snail? Furiously, creation exudes particulars. We put them in order one fine medieval day. God at the top, angels next, and beneath the dimpled pudo, wingless man, canceling forests, grinding down the extravagant mountains, the bees in fluorescent hives sweat shopping honey. Yes, we dreamed ourselves on high, nailed all beings below us in place. A kind of comfort, I suppose, when the winds start to blow and the sea rising comes looking. Mm -hmm.